Shalom. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and charity and risking their lives and freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. To the Akiam and to the Akwath, that will be you brothers and sisters. Adawan Rataza, that is to say Lord willing. Hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And in this lesson today, I'm going to um, entitle it, Blessed is he whose transgressions is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Okay? Blessed is he whose transgressions is forgiven, whose sin is is covered okay uh, that's going to be the title for the lesson today and um, Lord willing by the end of the lesson uh, you'll be edified okay now this scripture this, the title for the lesson is from uh, uh, Psalms the 32nd chapter all right the very first verse and um, I'm gonna bring it back out in the lesson uh, at the end of the lesson Okay, I have some scriptures jotted down. Um, but it's, this is with the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemel uh, Through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemel uh, this, is the, this is what the spirit has given me to do today to go into this lesson. Okay, blessed is he whose transgressions is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Okay, so um, let's go, first let's go to... Um, the book of First John. Let's go to the New Testament and, and let's get what is sin. Okay. Okay. Um, this is the book of First John. First John, um, the third chapter and the fourth verse. Okay. Just so we uh, know uh, by way of the, the, the Holy Scriptures what is sin. Okay. Um, so we could just establish that at, at the beginning of the lesson real quick. It says, um, first John chapter three and verse four, it says, whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law for sin is the transgression of the law. Okay. Sin is the transgression of the law. When you transgress the law, that's when you commit a sin. By transgressing the law. Okay. What is the law? The law that was given to the Israelites. Okay. Alright. Um, let's go to. Uh, let's go to the book of Baruch real quick. Alright. The scriptures speak about in uh, Malachi. I think Malachi the third chapter. The 16th verse. Where it speaks about and they that fear the Lord, uh, a book of remembrance uh, was written for them. You know those that abide in the fear of the Lord, right? This this book was written for you to abide abide by those laws that that's in there. Okay, now mind you, we we in a great spirit because we transgressed against the Most High. We went off as a people. You know, Most High raised up. Uh, different nations over us to punish us, you know, brought us into slavery, all that, right? So we are, uh, uh, we the Most High cast us off at one point, but He sent His Son to be a sacrificial lamb uh, to make reconciliation, okay, to, to adopt us back unto Him, right? So at this time now, we 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 under the grace period, so we have to keep the laws. Uh, to the best of our ability, because we we're not we're not in our sovereign land. We're not we're not sovereign at the moment, okay. But uh, let's 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 get uh, Baruch, okay, the book of Baruch, real quick. Since this is the 
the Apocrypha, the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 1. It says, this is the book of the commandments of the Most High and the law that endured forever. So the law endured forever, man. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. So this is your gauge that gauge you through life, which is directly from the Most High, man. The laws are we supposed to keep. Okay? We have to keep the laws. Once again, we are under grace, so we have to keep it to the best of our ability. We, we, we rehearse in the righteous acts, uh, so to speak. When you, uh, If you go right here to Judges, the fifth chapter, and you get into it at the 11th verse, it tells you, they, meaning the elect, they that are delivered, this is speaking of the elect, they that, that, they that are delivered from the noise of archers, because when missiles are being shot into the ends of the earth, according to Second Ezra, the 16th chapter and the 13th verse, okay, those arrows are going to be shot into the ends of the earth, intercontinental, com, intercontinental ballistic missiles, man, all right? The elect are going to be delivered from that. It's called the seven, uh, the seven trump, man. Okay, we in the between the sixth and seventh trump right now. It says they that are delivered from the noise of archers in the places in the places of drawn water. Okay, in the place of our captivity, right here, uh, the daughter of Babylon, aka America. There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, and you know uh, other places around the globe too around the world where uh, uh, the deliverance is going to be taking place, right? There shall they rehearse the acts of the Lord. Okay, yeah, keeping the, the law to the best of your ability. You're seeing that we are under grace and we, we're not sovereign, so we have to keep it to, to the best of our ability. Even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel, then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gate. So we are under grace once again. So we, we, we only can keep the laws to the best of our ability, Okay. For an example, you know, you you you, you uh, uh, for the Passover you're supposed to have a, a a lamb without without blemish, right? But we don't we don't we don't we don't own farms to say the lamb that we're gonna get if it's a, is a lamb without blemish or you understand? Just just to give an ex an example, we don't we don't uh, own companies that makes clothes that uh, we're gonna be sure that our fabrics our clothes is not a mixed fabric. Uh, you understand? Just to give you an example of why you can't keep the law perfectly here. Right? So, um, yeah, but, you know, once again, the title of the lesson, Bless is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. This is what you want. You, you want your, your, your transgression to be blotted out. Because if, 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 um, if the Most High was to hold that against you, your, your sins... Okay, it, it, who would stand? Nobody would stand, right? Because the only person who could have keep the law perfect was Yahweh Shai, was our Lord. Okay, he came in the flesh. The word was made flesh. One of his titles is the word of God. Is one of his titles. And the scripture tell you, uh, St. John, the first chapter and the 14th verse, the word was made flesh. Okay, so the Lord walked the earth as a man and he kept the law perfect, right? But that's not the case with us. Okay? That's not the case with us. Okay? But the thing about it is, you want to be found pleasing in the sight of the Lord that he could blot out your transgressions. You want the Lord to, to not impute uh, uh, sin onto you. Okay? Because if the Lord was to count them or mark them, as the scriptures say, like, uh, mark them, if the law was to mark them, nobody would stand. So let's get that scripture. Uh, let's go to the book of Psalms. Psalms uh, 130. This is the book of Psalms 130. And it reads, Psalms 130 and verse 3. It says, If thou, Lord, Shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? And it has a question mark. Okay, let me read it again. Psalms 130 and verse 3. If thou, Lord, all caps, this is speaking about the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. If thou, Lord, shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? Now you see. Ain't nobody can be able to stand because only our Lord 
okay, the Heavenly Father's begotten Son, which, which is our Lord and Savior, all right, only Him was able to do that, keep the law perfectly, right? But if the Lord, as it says here in this scripture, if, if thou, Lord, shouldest mark, shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? See? So this is the reason why you want to do everything in your power to be found pleasing unto the Most High, that he may blot out your, your, your transgressions, man. You know? Right? And, and it's all of the Heavenly Father, because it's, it's, it's written from, uh, from, from predestinated from the foundation of the earth, man, the, the elect. The elect are going to have their, 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 uh, their, 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 their sins not imputed unto them, man. Okay, and then this is the reason why we say to repent. You know, repent, turn to the Lord. The Lord said the only acknowledged, the only acknowledge that, that you transgress against him, man. Only acknowledge that, repent, turn away from evil, turn away from wickedness and seek him. Okay, seek the Lord while he may be found, call ye upon him while he's near. Okay, make no tyrant to turn to the Lord, but put, put it, uh, make no tyrant to turn to the Lord and put that off from day to day. Okay, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in your security you shall be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. So you stop putting off the day of the Lord thinking you got time. Nobody's promised tomorrow, for you ought to say, Lord will. You will do this, and Lord will, you will do that. But in the meantime, what you ought to do is repent. You ought to repent, man. Let's go to the New Testament. Let's get that in the book of Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. It says, actually, I'm going to start from verse 8. 18 it says but those things which the most High before had showed by the mouth of his of all his prophets that mashiach should suffer he had so fulfilled the lord came to be a sacrificial lamb all right to, to bring to adopt us back to the heavenly father okay to reconciliation all right the heavenly father was in deal with us this is how we brought back true his begotten son which is our lord and savior all right he adopted us back to the Heavenly Father. That's why we have to, everything we want, you know, from the time he went back to sit at the right side uh, 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 of the Heavenly Father, okay, all power is given unto him. We have to pray anything we want. We have to pray through him. He is our high priest and, medi and mediator, okay? Thus, we have this great spirit, okay? Once again, have to keep the, the laws to the best of your ability. So you want to... Uh, try. Uh, you want to keep these laws to the best of your ability to show forth your faith. Show forth, you know what I'm saying? Do the things that's pleasing in the sight of the Lord. Uh, show forth the praises, as, as it says. Uh, 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 and, um, what's that? Um, sec, First Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. Okay, show forth the praises meant unto him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. You ought to show forth the praises. Keep these laws to the best of, of, of your ability to try to please the Heavenly Father. That your transgressions may be blotted out. Okay? Uh, verse 19. It says, Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. This is what you want. You want your sins to be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Let me read 19 again. Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Repent. That's, that's, that's it. That's what you got to do. It starts with repentance, man. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. This is what you want, your sins to be blotted out. Okay? When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. The title of the lesson, Blessed is he whose transgressions is forgiven, whose sin is covered. You need them to be covered. Remember we read uh, Psalms 130 verse 3. If, the Lord, if thou, O Lord, shouldest mark iniquity, who shall stand? You wouldn't be able to stand. This is why you need it blotted out. Okay? Let's go from there. We're going to go to um, the book of Isaiah. Let's go back. Let's go to the Old Testament. And we're going to go to the book of Isaiah, the 43rd chapter. So this is Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 25. It says, I, even I, am he that blotted out thy transgressions for my own sake. I will not remember thy sins. This is what you want, man. You want the Lord to blot out your transgressions. Okay? That's what you want. That's what you need. Okay? That's what you need. You need your transgressions to be blotted out. That's the point. Walk in every way possible 
uh, putting your best foot forward, you know what I mean, to, 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 to please the Lord, man. You, you got to do that by faith. Faith, which is a gift, okay, which is a gift. But you got to keep the faith, man, and fight the good fight of faith, okay? Putting your best foot forward, man, to try to be pleasing unto the Lord. Okay, Enoch, hey, his, his testimony was that he pleased the Lord. Therefore, he was translated that he should not see death, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, so, hey, you, you got to do your best, man, to please the Lord. Okay, I'm going to get one more scripture, and um, we're going to close out right here. As I mentioned in the beginning of the lesson, I'm going to close it out right here with Psalms. Psalms, the 32nd chapter. This is Psalms, chapter 32. And I'm going to read verse 1 and 2. It says, a Psalm of David, Mishkshil. It says, blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered, which is the title of the lesson. Okay, verse 2, it says, Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputed not iniquity, in whose spirit there is no guile, meaning no deceit. Okay, let me read verse 2 again. Actually, I'm going to read verse 1 and 2. It says, Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Verse 2, Psalms chapter 32 and verse 2, Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputed not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile, meaning no deceit, man. Okay, so you want your transgressions, uh, you know, you want your sins to be blotted out. That's what you want, man. That's what you need. Okay, so take heed to the word, man. All right, so with that, Lord willing, you was edified. On to the next one. Shalom.